Hello, this is a basic navigation training to get you started using Tynet. In order to log into Tynet, in your browser you need to type tynet.jcisd.org. That will take you to the login screen. The school district ID is Monroe ISD. The username is U colon, first name, last name, all put together with no periods or spaces. Your password, if you've never logged in before, is Maximus1! If you have logged in, you can enter your personal password. On your home page, you will likely have a blank screen. You will have access to features such as search and reporting. I will show you the most important things you'll need to be able to do with those two tabs in your top toolbar. Let's get started with a student search. I can type in any identifying information I have for the student, such as the student ID number, last name, first name, or the school that the student attends. You will have access to your location-wide students. Once you start searching for students often, they will come in your Recent Students Selected menu, but I simply hit Search. There are two icons on this students. The profile is the folder. The papers are the documents. You will be able to open the documents. And this page shows you creation dates, any modification dates, and finalization dates of documents. It tells you the status of the document. And then if I select a document, it takes me into it, the document selected. From here, you'll notice that there's a tab with an arrow facing downward. If I hover over that tab, we call it the flyaway. I can see all the sections of this IEP, and I can navigate by simply clicking on the section. I selected Accommodations and Alternate Assessments. This page would help me to view the assessment the student will be taking, any subtest, and any accommodations the student might need to be successful. If I hover over the flyaway again, I can view Programs and Services. I would see any related service providers here and any programs here. When I'm done, I could simply cancel. If I would like to go back to my search, I can follow my breadcrumbs to the student's documents. I could look at information in the student's profile. Again, there's a flyaway, and I can see some limited information about the student. I could view the student's programs and services. I could look at possibly some discipline information, enrollment information. Those are all found in the student's profile. So it would give me a quick view of programs and services, the case manager, the educational setting, for example. If I follow my breadcrumb back once more, it will take me to the search screen, or I can use the search tab, and if at any point I'm lost, I can go home. Another available search is a staff search. You can select the staff member, and again, you can view their profile and documents associated with the staff member. I'd like to show you a report that you may find helpful. In the Reporting tab, in your top toolbar, select Standard Reports. Under Imported Reports, there is a report called MCISD IEPs and Reavals by Building Due in the Next 45 Days. This can really help you track your due dates in your building. First, you'll need to select your organization from the drop-down filter. 
I'm not going to go through that process because this information is protected information about students, but you would select your organization filter and your report would generate. Another really easy way to view this report is to simply subscribe to the report and have it pushed to your home page. If I hit subscribe and then select yes and select the home page option show link to report on home page and I set that option when I go back to my home page I have that report right here this is updating all the time all I have to do is click on it and my report will generate I think you have all the basics you need to get started I hope you found this tutorial helpful and if you have any questions please contact Shauna Dittman at 734-242-5799 extension 1415 or feel free to email me shauna.dipman at monroeisd.us. Thank you.